Hi guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Alexa, what's the time please? It's 5.57pm. Alexa, what's the date today? It's Friday the 6th of May. And Alexa, the weather this evening? Alexa, the weather this evening? Alexa, what's the weather like this evening? This evening, we can expect showers with temperatures around 5 degrees. Right guys, um, so I have just been to Blue Water and I've come back. I've also been in Costa Coffee in Rochester. So I went to Costa Coffee first. had a, a, a frat in there with an ice drink with mango in it, very tasty it was too and a lemon muffin so I had a, a lemon muffin in there and it was fairly busy in Costa Coffee <coughs> in fact it was very busy actually um, <coughs> various people in there that I usually write in my diary and I haven't written in the diary for a while now about a week I haven't written in the diary because the phone hurts my face and I suffer from jaw pain and I've been unable to concentrate and write in my diary. So I had a nice cup of, I had a nice frappe and I had a, a lemon muffin and then Actually, I've been into Stroop Post Office as well. i just show you a couple of things I've got in Stroop Post Office. Um, when I was communicating online with somebody, somebody asked me what books I, me, Crystal, like to read. And I said, Enid Blyton books remind me of my childhood. They do. Enid Blyton. So they had a number of Enid Blyton books in the um, Strews post office which is near Asda. This one is five get into a fix. Now when I was a little girl, I was talking about five, six and seven, I used to read these books. So that's going to bring back some memories. I also got this badminton set because when I was working for the official receivers office in Gloucestershire, which I don't know if it's still there, London Road, Gloucestershire, I worked in the official receiver's office. Me, Crystal did, as a bankruptcy clerk then, but my name was Janestra. It wasn't Crystal. So when I worked at the official receiver's office in London Road, Gloucestershire, my name was Janestra, not Crystal. And that is when Pam... One of, the one of the ladies that worked there, when I first started there, I was 20 years old, I was 20. I'm 53 now, that's 33 years ago. Wow, doesn't time fly. Um, she said to me, I thought she was going to be a coloured lady. I said, why was that then? And she said, because of your first name. It sounds like you're going to be African exotic African. I said, no, I'm just plain white British. And um, I stayed in that job for five years until my first son was born. Um, basically, he had um, a, a disease when he was born called biliary atresia, which is really bad liver disease. And I thought my son was going to die before he was two weeks old, but he managed to have the CASI operation, and the doctor at the Birmingham Children's Hospital saved him. And my son is now 25, and he's had a liver transplant. And at the time, I thought my son wasn't going to make it to two weeks, and he's now 25 years old. Our family has been through a lot, so bullying is unnecessary and unwanted. All of us have been through a hell of a lot, and taking the mickey is something people don't need. 
and a certain person that is instigating the bullying that's going on should stop it because they're older and they should know better. Right, because I should tell you something, okay? My, when I was up with my mum a couple of days ago, she said, Derek, my father likes a bit of rough. And as you know, he was sexually abusing me at various holiday parks. So when I was round with my mother the other day, she said, Derek likes his bits of rough. So when I went to the toilets in Blue Water, uh, the ladies' toilets, there was a group of young ladies of a dark skin origin making dog noises. Rough, 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 as I was going into the ladies' toilet. And as you well know, there are cameras in shopping centres and everywhere like that. And especially racial and hate bullying is not acceptable in any shape or form. Right? So don't do it. That's all I'm saying, it won't get you anywhere. And I managed to carry on, hold my head up high and ignore it. When I went into the ladies' toilets, again there was a group of coloured girls looking at me as if I was a piece of shit. And I certainly am not. I've been through a lot. And if you don't like it, just stay out of my way. There's no need to make noises or silly comments. Right? Just stay out of my way, please. So I went into Primark, Primark in Blue Water and got some things. I had some sushi in a lovely shop and an aloe vera drink and I sat down and ate it. Right? Um, right? What is a bit of rough? Alexa, what's a bit of rough? Do something like that on the way. According to wikipedia.org, in stone and dressmaking, a ruffle, frill, or better layer to strip of fabric, lace or ribbon had to gather when pleated on one end to apply to a garment, bedding, or other textile as a form of trimming. Anyway, I don't think Alexa understood that. But a bit of rough is a woman that is a dog, basically. She's not all that. And she does everything in the bedroom that um, another woman wouldn't do. Because she's a bit of rough. Derek likes his bit of rough. And I was Derek's daughter. Right, so I asked for a couple of first class stamps in the Strood Post Office. They're nice, aren't they? Purple, large ones. I'm at an age, guys, where I couldn't care less what other people think, right? When I was sat around with my mother the other day, a couple of days ago now, she told me that she was the end, at the end of her life. Well, I'm 53, I'm flat bang in the middle.
really have had to take a phone call then. Sorry, I was missing for a couple of minutes. Someone rang me. Um, so where was I? Yeah, my mum said that she was at the end of her life, like my dad used to talk when I was round there. Um, a couple of times I've been round my mother's and she's talked about the suicide and things and people operating on brains. Uh, my mum is elderly, she suffers from a mental health illness and she's not getting any help. And a, a couple of times I've had to say to my mother, can you stop talking? That is actually frightening me, what you're saying. That people operate on brains. And when Charlotte rang up, she said she felt like someone was squeezing inside her. And she also said it to Sue when Sue rang up. That she felt like she was being squeezed inside. Um, you know, it does frighten you, especially when you live alone and someone keeps going on about operating on brains and things like that. It's quite frightening. And a couple of days ago, um, I actually felt a severe pain in my head like I get when I sm inhale a smell and I get a pain in my sinuses. Um, but uh, no, a lot of things have happened to me and I don't like being taken the mickey out of. I think... Oh, what's that? The phone's making a funny noise. <laughs> wow, weird noises. Um, no, I enjoyed... Uh, I went out today and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I've had sushi, I've had a meal, I've had a muffin, I've had lots of food. I'm feeling a cat okay, a bit out of breath. When I came back, I must have forgotten, I, I don't know why I left the heating on, but when I came back in, the heating was on full blast. I'm sure I turned it off before I went out. Because the only time I turned the boiler on was to have a shower this morning and I turned the boiler off. When I came in, it was like a sauna. And I, I, I don't remember putting the heating on. I, I know I turned it off. Perhaps I did just leave it on. So I've had a thoroughly enjoyable day today. And so I'll just show you what I got from Primark in Blue Water. And I was there. Primark Blue Water Shopping Centre in Greenhide. DA9. I was in there at 4.45 this afternoon. Um, it's a very big shopping centre. It's absolutely lovely. It's sat outside on the picnic benches by the water. It was nice. 